These are distress embossing glazes. They're beautiful embossing powders with transparent qualities. They come in over 40 different colors with 12 of those just being released within the last couple weeks. As with other embossing powders, these can be used in many different techniques, but what I love about them is the transparent qualities. One of my favorite ways to use them is with cardstock that has double-sided tape that I've die cut images out. I pull off the backing to the tape and that embossing glaze will stick to that exposed tape. Then I melt it with my embossing tool. By using a brush, I can get some beautiful gradients between the different colors, and I can also take advantage of that transparency by stamping a background image below my tape. The other way I like to use the embossing glaze is by putting some texture paste through a stencil and then tapping on several different colors of embossing glaze. I try to use only the amount that I actually need for this because any excess will be waste or will have to go in a separate jar because we're mixing colors here. But if you've ever used embossing powder before, you know that a little goes a long way and a jar of embossing powder lasts a very long time. I'm using a wave stencil here, but any stencil image will work for this technique. And you can also mix in the embossing glaze with regular embossing powders if you want some mixture between the transparent embossing glaze and the metallic or colored embossing powders. Once that texture paste is covered, you can either emboss it while that texture paste is wet or wait till it dries. If you do it while it's wet, it will start to bubble and boil, which may be a cool look for whatever you're doing. If you wait till it's dry, it won't do that. Distress embossing glaze is a great thing to add to your craft collection because you can have so much fun with that transparent quality to it. And there are so many beautiful colors to choose from.